Aw, two weirdos in the bushes together. What a cute couple. You can't relate. Neither can I, sweetie. Let's face it. We're both single. And that Alpha Wolf Boy 123, that name is also Kai. Um, that's not your boyfriend, sweetie. That is a 40 year old stalker. Nope, now I sound like your mother. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so you ever see those TikTok boys online? On TikTok? Yes, males on TikTok. Um, <laughs> that sounded a little sexist. But basically, so you ever see how they like try to fake their voice sometimes? Ever since Corpse Husband he entered the world um now people are just like damn his voice is hot i want his voice not gonna lie his voice is pretty cool but when i think of his voice it's not like the voice of someone i want to kiss it's just like kind of a bedtime story kind of voice not really like boyfriend voice i don't know i'm kind of attracted to more boyish voices if that makes any sense yeah anyways so sad little tiktok boys they like you know they have a nice voice but then they try to make their voice like really rad, like this, yeah, because they think this is hot. Like they think that's what a morning voice is because one time, I don't know who said this, but morning voices do be hot though. And honestly, low key, yes. God, what am I doing? This is polite. Okay, basically I'm just using the same bass so I don't have to completely redraw from scratch. Sorry to traumatize you, but... You know, it's just really funny listening to those guys where, you know, they obviously, that's obviously not their natural voice. Then, you know, they just like do this stupid thing with their chin and they like, <laughs> I don't, I can't show you guys my face and my hands, but you know the, you know the TikTok stuff they do where they rub their hands together and they like stroke their chin. Um, I just find it a little funny when they then like, you know, voice reveal and then it's just so obviously fake when they then lower their voice and they like make it sound like uh, because people for some reason think that's hot there's like yo what's up people no sorry <laughs> you don't sound <laughs> mr steal your girl is here man Whoa. Yeah. honestly i like voices wow <laughs> groundbreaking but i meant that i like voices that are a little more smooth honestly i kind of like all voices there's an appeal to raspy voices damn i wanted a raspy voice there's an appeal to smooth voices smooth like butter like a criminal undercover da, da, i don't remember the lyrics beyond that but yeah so i just like to draw this drawing um because like a lot of my drawings it has meaning the meaning of this drawing is to remind you how much of a single ass you are no sorry Here's the thing, you and I, we don't need to get into a relationship. We're 12, okay? No, I'm 16, you're 12. <laughs> uh, I'm so salty today. All right, um, yeah, I'm salty, you want to taste? Uh, sorry, that was disgusting. Um, what is wrong with me? I'm being kind of weird right now. Anyways, I cut my leg on grass, like literal soft Bermuda grass, not Bermuda Triangle, Bermuda grass on the lawn. Um, and somehow I made this really huge cut, like, on my knee. It's bruised, it's swollen, it's disgusting to look at. It's really gross to look at. And the annoying thing is, I was just like, oh god, like, ah, this hurts. So I started, like, wobbling back home so that I can do nothing about my cut. Because whenever I get hurt, I like to neglect it till it gets infected so that I don't have to help with chores inside the house. Because if I'm injured, I could sit on my ass all day. Not that it would change my life that much, but at least I wouldn't have to help with the two things that I help with in life. Anyways, my mom is like, what? Come here. Let me see. Wait, go back. Go back. Go back. I'm like, mom, I'm not going to walk back there. My leg hurts. And then she comes out with this camera. Recently, she's been a little bit addicted to using... Fa oh, son of a bitch. My leg. All right. Sorry. It, 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 I just bumped it against something. I am not being dramatic, it really does hurt. <laughs> but anyways, my mom just like took the video out and she's videoing and she's like, no, we need to treat that here, do this and this, which is kind of funny. Cause I pray mama doesn't see this, but like for a majority of my life, she didn't really give a shit. 
But now that Facebook's a thing, she's like videoing it and I get it's okay that she's caring and loving to me. But what annoys me is that like I say something and she's like, wait, wait, I wasn't recording, repeat that again. Like things feel superficial, things feel fake, and I just want I just want my cut to be treated by someone that won't video it, or I just want to completely neglect it like I've been doing for years about other health things. But yeah, it's just like annoying when you try to video things and tell your kids to repeat stuff. Like, it feels a bit like I'm being a tiny bit exploited. Also, I don't want to feel like a dumbass in front of the rest of her 40-year-old friends. Not that I care. Okay, see ya.